Here's how I stabilized this video from this to this using keyframes. Now, the first thing you want to do once you're inside of Vegas Pro, you want to go to the video tab and search for an effect called Mocha Vegas. It will be this effect right here. You just want to drag and drop this onto your video, and this will give you the option to launch the Mocha UI inside of Vegas Pro. You just want to get yourself the shape tool, drag this out, get yourself a selection, and with this area, we're also going to enable the surface as well. We can also double left click on the layer and just call this one, let's say wall. And we want to enable all of the tracking points, the transform, scale, rotation, skew, and perspective as well. Once you're ready and you are ready to start tracking, you want to go ahead and track forwards. And this will create all of the keyframes. Once it's finished tracking and you're happy with the tracking area, you can then save this and you want to close it down. This will give you the option to open up the tracking data and we can click on the invert button right here, go to create track, and in here we'll have the option to import the wall keyframes into Vegas effect. Now, once you've got yourself all of the keyframes, in order to apply it onto the video, we need to close this down and we need to search for an effect called picture in picture. Now, this effect will allow us to apply all of the keyframes onto this effect right here. We also want to change the scale to one. And then from here, we're going to go back onto the Mocha Vegas. We're going to go to apply export. And then once you're in here, you want to go down to the drop down menu, select yourself the video and select the Vegas picture in picture. This will apply all of the keyframes from this effect over to the picture in picture. And if you have a look at this, you can see the video has been stabilized. However, the only problem is, is that the edges are visible. We have these black borders, which don't look great. And to get rid of this, there is two ways that you can do this. The first way is really easy and it's a quick fix. And that is to go into the video effects. You want to move the pan slash crop all the way to the end. And then in here, you want to hold control or command and then drag this in. It will get rid of the edges. The only downside to this is that you can also lose quality along the way. So if you wanted to keep the quality at 100% and you didn't want to lose any whatsoever, then the second way to do this is to go back into the Mocha Vegas. You then want to go back into the Mocha UI. And then in here, we're going to create ourselves a second shape onto this area right here. You want to drag this out, get yourself a selection, but this one is going to be larger than the first one. We're going to rename this one to wall two. And since we've already got the tracking from the first one, we can go down to the link two while selecting the layer and link it to the first tracking. And this will save us all the time from having to retrack it once again. Once you're happy with your second area, we're going to save the changes. We're going to close this down. And then all you need to do now in order to apply it onto the video is to close this down. We're going to press Control or Command and C on the main video and paste it by pressing Control and V. We're just going to strip away the effects by clicking this button right here. And we're just going to turn this one into a reference frame since we don't need the whole video. So we can do this by right clicking on the video, go to insert slash remove envelope, and you want to go to velocity. From here, we're going to right click on the first key point and then set it to 0% velocity. And what this will do is it will freeze the first frame throughout your whole video. You can then drag this underneath your video. And if we have a look at this now, you can see there is no borders whatsoever. However, sometimes you can also run into certain problems like down here near the bottom where you can see both of them overlapping each other. And to fix this, it's really simple. All we need to do is go back into the video effects. You want to open up the mat and enable the mat right here. From here, we can increase the feather to soften those edges and make them blend, making it harder to see and notice the other reference image. If we hide this layer, you can see the borders are a little bit softer now compared to before. 
it is very hard to notice the two edges.